I like the Red Wolves name as well. So yeah, we'll transition to the football side of things. I want to get. I want to talk about this right off the bat. Obviously, a lot of people have mixed emotions about Dwayne Haskins. Personally, I believe in Dwayne Haskins. I did a film analysis on his whole season. I felt that he was a very good quarterback when he was coming out of Ohio State. I think he's going to be a top ten quarterback one day once he, you know, kind of reaches his full potential. I believe in Dwayne Haskins. Now, a lot of people have given up on Haskins. Even some, you know, Washington football team fans and. I think what people have, to, people have to realize is the team last year was not very good. You guys were picking number two overall for a reason. You know, the team was just not that good. Bad offensive line. I know Terry McLaurin is great, but outside of Terry McLaurin, there wasn't a whole lot of weapons getting open for Dwayne Haskins. You didn't really have a tight end. I know how you feel about Jeremy Sprinkle, okay, and things of that nature. Yeah, and, I mean, Dwayne Haskins was put into a situation playing for a coach that did not want him, and it'd be one thing if he were, like, I don't know, a 10-year veteran, but... He's a rookie quarterback that started one year of college football. That is not putting your quarterback in position to succeed. And, you know, I feel like that sort of, when we look at rookie quarterbacks, just take the success as house money because we've seen guys like Peyton Manning throw 28 interceptions his rookie season. John Elway struggled. Steve Young struggled. Heck, Jared Goff a couple years ago. People thought that he was an absolute bust. And then we saw once he got the right head coach for it, for him, what once the once the Rams got the right, right head coach for him, he was playing like an MVP candidate on his way to a Super Bowl. And you mean to tell me Dwayne Haskins isn't as talented as Jared Goff? I beg to differ. So look, I'm gonna let you kind of take the floor about this, Ed. I've defended Dwayne Haskins on this channel a lot. Tell people why you tell people how you feel about Dwayne Haskins. Do you believe he's the future? And what are you looking for as far as Dwayne Haskins' development this year? I 100% agree with you, man. I, I thank you for, for putting your neck out there and defending my skin, man. I really do. Um, but, yeah, no, I agree with you. I mean, a lot of quarterbacks have struggled. You know, Rome wasn't built in the day. And people got to understand that, you know, quarterbacks aren't aren't going to develop in one year, one season. You know, even, like you said, Alex Smith, Peyton Manning struggled his, his first year. Troy Aikman was awful his rookie season. There's so Jared Goff was awful his rookie season. There's so many quarterbacks who are good nowadays that struggle their rookie year, you know, and if you just give up on a quarterback after one season, then um, that's, a, that's a terrible way to run an organization, in my opinion. So you got to give a quarterback time. This quarterback, Aaron Rodgers sat down for three years. Pat Mahomes sat down for a year behind Alex Smith. So you got to learn and uh, become a good, it takes time. It takes time to become a good quarterback. It's just, it's just like the NBA. It takes time to become a good basketball player. You're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be Michael Jordan out for a rookie season. It's just not going to happen. So it takes to become a good quarterback, it really takes three years. Like, you know, like you look at Trubisky, even though he's been playing bad, you still got to give that man two to three years to see what he can really do. Now, if they're going out there like Ryan Lee throwing one touchdown, 18 picks, then yeah, I would give up on that guy maybe in his rookie year. But Dwayne Haskins, he lost a lot of weight this offseason. You know, 216, he's down to 216 pounds. He's lean. He's faster. He's more mobile. He's going to be more of a dual threat quarterback. Um, so he can run for a first. I'm not. I'm not saying he's going to be a running quarterback, but he can definitely move around the pocket a lot better than what he did last year. Showing that he's in shape, he's locked in. He's been working out with every receiver known to man. Terrell, Terrell Owens, Ocho Singh. He's worked out with Antonio Brown. He's worked out with Jerry Judy. He's worked out with the guys on his team, Terry McLaurin. So he's been locked in. He's been focused, focused this summer. So I've been happy to see that. I think he's ready to, to make take his game to the next level. I believe in Dwayne Haskins. I think he can be. A great quarterback, a Pro Bowl quarterback in the future. Um, I think he has a tool. He, he has the tools. He has the arm talent. Um, you know, we saw what he did at Ohio State. Fifty touchdowns in one season. You know, that doesn't grow on trees. That's that's hard to do, man. I'm telling you, no other quarterback at Ohio State did that that I've that I've seen in the last 20, 30 years. You know, so uh, Dwayne Haskins, he has the talent. He just needs a coach that believes in him. And when he gets that, because he had terrible coaching last year, like you said, the guys last year didn't know what they were doing. That's why they got fired. And um, I think they had, they had, you know, some of the coach that got fired didn't even want Dwayne Haskins. He didn't even like Dwayne Haskins. So we got a guy in Ron Rivera that I think believes in Dwayne Haskins and a coach staff that believes in him. And I think he'll make that, that sophomore jump this, this season. So I'm excited to see him play. I'm really excited to see him play. Yeah, I kind of agree with most of the things that you said. I kind of tend to agree. You have to kind of evaluate quarterbacks by year number three. Uh, I know you talked about Mr. Trubisky, but that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of out on Trubisky is because it's his third year and he's not really developing properly. I understand that Chicago, you know, is responsible for that as well. But 
I never was a huge Trubisky fan in the first place, but yeah, I feel like rookie year is kind of the growing year. Sophomore year, I want to see your development. Third year, I kind of want to see the final product out there. So I think that Dwayne Haskins this year, he's going to show a lot of improvement. And last year, you know, the first two appearances, he was not that good. He was not put in a position to succeed. I will say that. But even if he was put in a position to succeed, let's just say that he was off his first two appearances. After that, post Jay Gruden, Dwayne Haskins played pretty good football considering what was around him, you know. Of the last three games of the season, five touchdowns, one interception, I saw growth and development within that season despite dysfunction. That gives me a lot of hope that Dwayne Haskins can continue that momentum into this year. Do you kind of agree? Oh, yes, sir. He was working a week against the Eagles. He threw two, two touchdowns, no picks. He stopped turning over the football. So the first two games, he turned over the football. When, when, when the new coaching staff came in, he finally started games. He threw seven touchdowns, three picks. His QBR rating skyrocketed from what it was before when he was throwing in the second half. The Giants game before he got injured, I want to say he was like 12 for 13, 12 for 15, two touchdowns before he got hurt. Uh, Eagles game, he played, played his butt off, 261 yards passing, two touchdowns, no picks. Uh, had a nice read option for 26 yards. So he showed that he could play at an NFL that, at a high level and that he was able to win games to beat the Panthers, uh, beat the Lions, get a game winning drive against the Lions. Uh, where he took the selfie. So he showed a lot of growth, and that's what you want to see. You want to see growth from the quarterback. I think every game he got better, he improved. He showed some type of improvement each game. So that's what I like from Dwayne Haskins. Yep, yep. And I think that Ron Rivera does believe in Dwayne Haskins. I know that he has not officially given Dwayne Haskins the job, but he's, but there's a reason why he did not bring in Cam Newton. He wants to get a good look at Dwayne Haskins and say, hey, let's evaluate Dwayne Haskins. Let's see what we got right here. And Ron Rivera is not the type of coach that's going to hand a job to someone, but I do think that Ron Rivera is going to give Dwayne Haskins every opportunity to win that starting job. Now, obviously, he brought in Kyle Allen his, as the backup quarterback, presumably, and I understand why. You know, he won games with Kyle Allen last year when Cam Newton was hurt. Kyle Allen looked solid in some games, so I understand why he brought him in. And obviously, Alex Smith is making a comeback this year. Um, so it's kind of sort of a real quarterback competition. I won't, I won't say officially kind of a quarterback competition because the vibes I'm getting is that it's Dwayne Haskins' job to lose. So what are your thoughts on Kyle Allen and Alex Smith? Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the fact that Alex Smith came back from that, you know, bad injury on his leg. You know, he's a warrior. He's a guy that should be respected. And the last time we saw Alex Smith, he was playing some good football. Now, will he be that same Alex Smith from when he was playing good football due to his injury? I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, talk about the overall quarterback room in Washington. Yeah, it's, it become it became a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to say a little bit, a lot more interesting because Alex Smith is actually playing. There was actually a notification I got this morning uh, reported by NBC Sports Washington that said Alex Smith impressed in the four training camp workouts that they've had so far. Now, he has not – nobody's done contact workout yet workouts yet but you know they have done you know off the field drills and things and they said that he's moving around pretty well so it's still um oh i just got another kid jamal crawford's not playing for you next tonight so i just had to throw that out oh I boy throw that out there. <laughs> but um yeah so there was actually a report this morning that said alex smith was um they were impressed by how he was working out the past four days so if that is actually true and Alex Smith is able to put up a fight against Dwayne Haskins, it makes it a lot more interesting. Now, Kyle Allen, he knows the playbook. You know, he was with the Panthers last year. He actually played pretty decently at times when Cam Newton first got hurt, and then he was brought back down to earth. And I think they lost, like, what, five, six games in a row or something like that, something crazy. So um, it, it is an interesting competition. I think I think we all, I think the majority believe that Dwayne Haskins will come out as the winner because. He's worked so hard. If he just walks in on the playbook, he's, he's just more talented than Alex Smith. He's, he's more talented than uh, Kyle Allen. So he really should win the competition. But we all know Alex Smith. There, each quarterback has their different advantage. Alex Smith is a veteran. He's been there before. He's a three-time Pro Bowl quarterback. You know, he, everywhere he's gone, he's won games. Even though he's a check-down game manager quarterback, he won games with the Chiefs. He went to the playoffs. He went to the playoffs with the Niners before Kaepernick. Took his job, then he went to, you know, like I said, he went to the Chiefs, lost his job to Pat Holmes. They still went to the playoffs, but he just lost his job. Where hopefully, you know, if history repeats itself, he loses the job to Haskins, and Haskins can break out like Mahomes did or how like Kaepernick did for about three years. Kyle Allen has a little bit of an advantage because he knows the playbook with Scott Turner and the Panthers 
But I really believe Haskins should win. I, the only person who I could see if Alex Smith somehow becomes 100% healthy somewhere out of nowhere is because Alex Smith is a veteran. He knows how to win games. He's a game manager. And when he was healthy, uh, we actually, we were winning games. We were 6-3 and three before he broke his leg. And he knows, he, I, I got to give up, I got to tip my head out. He knows how to win games. I'll give him that. It, it might be a check down. He might throw the ball for 100 yards. But he knows how to win a game. I'll give him that. But um, I, I think Haskins should win. I think Haskins should win off the arm talent. He's worked hard. He's in, he's in the best shape of his life. Uh, lost about 20 pounds. And I think he's really locked in and, and learned the playbook. I think the offense is really good for Dwayne Haskins, Scott Turner, um, the Air Coryell offense. I think, it, I think it fits the Haskins pretty well. Yeah, I totally agree. And I believe Dwayne Haskins is the future. But we shall see how he fares this year in sort of a mini quarterback competition. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows, or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.